for those testing after October 16th of 2023, there's a new air brake check. Think of it as a leg or a leg up. Air loss test, low air alarm test, emergency brake test, and then the governor cutoff switch test. When you uh, first get in the vehicle, you wanna show that, that you can buckle in, so you're buckled in. And then you'll explain, before I start my vehicle, I wanna make sure my truck is in neutral, my parking brake's engaged, my trailer brake's engaged, and then I can start the truck. So before you do your air loss test, you wanna make sure that these air tanks are in the safe range or somewhere between uh, 90 PSI and 120 PSI. So once you do that, um, now we're ready to do the air loss test. So I'm gonna uh, uh, go ahead and cancel the trailer brake, the parking brake, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, keep my foot on the brake pedal right down here. I'm gonna turn the truck off and then back to the on position, but not turning over the motor. When my gauges, my air gauges here settle, I'll say my air gauges are at 90 PSI. I'm gonna time myself for one minute. If I'm in a class A, I cannot lose more than four PSI in that one minute. Or if I'm in a class B, I cannot lose more than three PSI in a minute. So you'll time yourself for that one minute, one minute, or sometimes the examiner will do that for you. Let's fast forward, it's been one minute. I did not lose three PSI in that one minute if I were a class B, or if I'm a class A, I did not lose four PSI in that one minute. Now I'm gonna do the low air alarm warning. I'm gonna pump the brake pedal here, and I should hear the low air alarm before 55 PSI. Here I hear it right around uh, 65 PSI, so I've heard the low air alarm, the low air alarm works. Now I'm gonna do the emergency brake check. I'm gonna continue pressing the brake pedal here, and somewhere between 45 PSI and 20 PSI, these two bells will pop out. Make sure that both of these bells are, are, have popped out, and they have. You'll say that my uh, emergency brakes, they deployed at such and such PSI, in this case, right around, um, uh, right around uh, 40 PSI. Uh, so now you're gonna start the truck up and pull against them to make sure they're holding. So you put it in gear here, and then you'll just walk out the clutch. Don't worry about the gas pedal. We'll just walk out this clutch here. Then you'll say that your emergency brakes hold. The last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna resupply first the air back up to a safe level, somewhere between 90 and 120 PSI. And then I'm gonna continue holding the gas pedal a little bit, and somewhere between 120 PSI and 140 PSI I should hear the governor cutoff switch. between 120 PSI and 140 PSI, I should hear the governor cutoff switch kick in. I heard the governor cutoff switch just above 120 PSI. My governor cutoff switch works. So now I'm gonna do the, uh, the parking brake and trailer brake test. So what they want you to do is, is test the parking brake to make sure it holds. So I'm gonna put it in gear here, and I'm gonna release the trailer brake. If you're a class B, you don't have to worry about this at all. So 
So now I'm just going to walk out the clutch here and pull against the parking brake. My truck shouldn't move forward. My truck didn't move forward. My parking brake holds. So now I'm going to do uh, the trailer brake. To do that, I'm going to release the trailer brake or engage it. And then I'm going to release the parking brake. And I'm going to pull against my trailer. When I pull forward, my trailer brake should hold my truck into place, but it also te uh, tests my uh, trailer connection. So I'm going to pull against the trailer here. And I'll say that my truck didn't move forward. My trailer brake works. Also, my truck and my trailer are securely coupled. So now I'm going to do the service brake check. I'm going to release both of these. Both of these are pushed in. If you're a class B, you don't have to worry about this. You just push in the parking brake. And now you're going to pull forward. You can see the service brake works. It doesn't pull on either side. I'll put my truck into neutral here. And now I'm going to do the rest of the new cab here. 